on today's episode. Welcome. Here are show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. So recently uh, during my Geiger counter build I was using one of these um, 1602A type uh, LCD displays and uh, I happened to comment at the time that uh, perhaps if I was doing this again not only would I go away from uh, using all of these uh, address lines to an I squared C, but I'd like to check out uh, an OLED so similar to the little guy that's in my uh, USB tester. So I've gone ahead and uh, and, and bought one from uh, from Banggood, and uh, uh, on the on the Banggood site um, it doesn't really give you much information um, other than uh, what the pins are. So we can see here simply that uh, we only have a ground VCC, SCL and SDA for the, uh, the, the two, two connections for I squared C and no other, no other information at all. Now I was slightly concerned because um, I know that there are variants of this that will only run off 3.3 volts and if I'm going to be running it at 5 volts uh, I was afraid I might fry it. My worries were not uh, founded and uh, this is in fact a, a 5 volt uh, capable unit. So the next thing was to find a, a, a suitable way of testing it. I thought rather than do what everybody else does and just have it flash the uh, the test Adafruit library or, or, or whatever, I tried to make something useful out of it. So um, this is just going to be a demo really of the, of the uh, OLED panel but um, also we're just going to uh, make a little prototype of a, uh, a voltmeter. So here we can see a, uh, a rough layout of the, the circuit I have in mind. Uh, over here we have uh, the Arduino Uno and that is um, doing two tasks. Up here it's driving the IZ squared C uh, connections for the OLED. Now this OLED is not the same as mine, these two are actually swapped around. So pay attention to that. And uh, the other thing that it's doing is on the analog input zero, it's monitoring the voltage here at this voltage divider. So we have a common ground, then a 100K resistor, and in series with that, a one mega ohm resistor that takes us to our, our positive test voltage input. Now obviously the UNO can only sense from 0 to 5 volts so the function of this voltage divider is to bring down our voltage um, to within that range um, that also offers protection to the uh, Arduino should we exceed the voltage uh, on here. So this should be um, comfortable up to around 55 volts but this is really basically just a, uh, a prototype. So. Um, in the next section we'll just uh, go quickly through the code that I've written for the Arduino and uh, we'll test it out. So here we can see the start of our sketch and uh, these includes at the top are just for the Adafruit libraries for the, the graphics and the OLED itself. Then we define our integer which is analog input 0 and we define our Vout and Vin values 0 to start and then our resistors are 1 and 2 as you remember it's a 1 mega ohm and 100k and then we reset the uh, OLED display and we get into our void setup routine now as before I like to define this um, serial port and use it uh, in, a, in, a, in a debugging fashion um, you can see here I've made a made us a comment uh, so that I can read on the uh, serial port that has actually got to this uh, this point in the, in the code. Now the pin mode analog input input so that is defining analog input um, the display um, address for this particular module is hex um, 3c. Clear the display set the text size to 2 and make it white 
put the cursor to the upper left hand corner and print voltmeter. Then we do the same, we move down, well actually it, it, it wraps on its own so on the next line it will appear V in equals and it's important to remember this, the, the last thing you do um, to actually display the, the characters is display display. So here we can see our, our loop uh, function and simply reads the analog input and as we know uh, the maximum that it can get is to 5 volts and there's a 1024 samples. So here's our calculation for to work out uh, what V in is and if it's less than uh, a very small amount just to make it zero. And next we're into the routine for the, the voltmeter display itself. So once again we set the text size to the, to the same now this line here is uh, is quite interesting. Uh, if you don't do this, then what happens is that each uh, value um, overwrites the preceding one, but it doesn't uh, doesn't sort of blank it out first. So what we do there is to change the font color to to black effectively, and um, print the same information, and then we turn the color back to white and uh, and, and print it. So that, that seems to work. So having gone through the, the sketch, uh, the only thing left to do is to uh, look at the actual breadboard and test it. So here we can see the completed uh, breadboard project and um, we can see the, uh, the link here which goes to the junction of the two resistors for our, our analog voltage uh, measurement and the two cables there to the I squared C uh, connections and the other just bits of bits of uh, power so I've got a little couple of test probes to uh, to measure the voltage so let's see and that looks good to me now uh, what these smaller displays uh, lack possibly in, 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 in size, they uh, certainly make up for in the, in the clarity of the display. It's uh, very neat indeed. Um, the accuracy of the voltage on here is not terribly high. These are on to, uh, well, the, the one mega ohm resistor is only 5%. So you could tweak those and, uh, and the program to calibrate it, but this is really more a, a demonstration of the uh, OLED than uh, than the voltmeter um, so with a little probe here obviously we've got a common ground so uh, we can probe over here on the 3.3 volts and we can see that and if we go to a, an external cell just over here have a little little uh, lithium ion 9 volt well it's probably 8.4 but it's near as makes not a lot of difference yeah so uh, 8.11 it's showing on there um, so yes uh, as a proof of concept I'm very pleased with the with the uh, OLED it, itself um, I think I've got a, a couple more coming on the way for different configurations. This one's just the uh, 128 by 32 uh, character, uh, bits, pixels, whatever they are. Um, so yeah, there we have it. Uh, and I'll provide links as always down in the description to, uh, to, to source the uh, little OLED uh, 